The Hanukkah Light Series is sponsored by Mr. and Mrs. Max and Anita Benatar. Le'ilu Nishma Dina Lea Batsara Rasha, Part 1. This year, I hope to take you on a learning journey throughout the following eight episodes. A theme will result, and I hope that you can come along for the ride as we reach our destination with eight pit stops along the way. The Rambam writes in the fourth chapter of Hilchot Hanukkah, Mitzvat Ner Hanukkah, Mitzvah Chabivahi Me'od. The mitzvah to light the Hanukkah candles is one that is very beloved, and one must be very careful to fulfill it. The Rambam is a halachic master, and his book is a halachic mastery. So to tell me that one must be very careful to fulfill the mitzvah of lighting Hanukkah candles, I get it, it's understood. However, why does he need to impart the lesson to inform me that it's a beloved commandment? Chaviva me'od. Also, what's the meaning of the praise given specifically to Hanukkah candles? Are there no other mitzvot that are beloved? There are 613 mitzvot in our Torah. On top of those, the rabbis added seven, which total 620. 620 is the numerical value of the word keter, or crown. One of the ideas behind the weekly recital of Keter Yitenu Lecha during Musaf of Shabbat and of holidays is that we tell Hashem that His crown will be given to Him by our performance of all 620 mitzvot, both biblically and rabbinically. The last mitzvah of the rabbinically instituted ones is the mitzvah of Hanukkah candles. This mitzvah therefore seals and concludes the count of the mitzvot and therefore completes the crown. The mitzvah also sits by our side during the last and final exile. The miracle of Purim, for example, was shortly after the destruction of the first Bet HaMikdash. The miracle of Hanukkah took place during the second Bet HaMikdash. There were still 200 years of the Bet HaMikdash to be enjoyed before its destruction. Only then did the Jews exit into this very long exile that we continue to suffer in. The mitzvah of lighting candles continues to shine bright during the dark galut we currently suffer, with hopes that one day we can crown Hashem in all His glory. But what caused this darkness? Why is it that we continue to battle the negative forces of evil? And how does it connect to the mitzvah of Hanukkah lights, which are so beloved to us? Tune in for part two tomorrow.